Hey, hope you're doing well. Jeremy McCullen with McCullen Knives. Today I kind of want to talk about uh, something I do a lot. I um, design as I make. So I kind of design and steal um, or you know, grind and design, however you want to look at it. Um, I have an idea in my head um, and I'll make it. And you know, as far as a knife goes, and once I've made it, I can feel it, I can look at it, I can use it, and I can decide then if I like the design, if um, something I don't like that I can change, or just something that altogether that just needs to go away. Um, I prefer to do it this way. I don't do a whole lot of sketching. Um, I, I don't do model making per se. I, I, I make prototypes. So I uh, finished a one off yesterday and I actually um, have a couple um, designs in it that I wanted to try out just to see how I liked. Um, one of them I think for certain applications has potential on the knife that's on right now. It's not really practical and we'll turn the camera around and we'll talk about the knife and a couple other things and um, you can kind of get an idea um, how I like to work things out. So here's the little one-off that I finished yesterday and just from the closed position it's just orange G10 there's no liners this is one of the things I just wanted to try out uh, um, as far as a lightweight no liner knife but uh, there is phosphorus bronze washers in here but if you can see there's a big cutout in um, the blade so where the nail nick would be, you have the cutout. Now, with, when you when I open up the blade, you'll see how this is not um, um, practical for this knife because this was also a knife uh, blade profile um, that I wanted to try out, more or less like a, a bird and trout. But with the cutout, it just isn't practical. So the cutout's huge. Now, if the cutout was a lot smaller, it would be a lot more practical. Now, the, the knife's got a really nice walk and talk. But you can see, um, also the knife is very, very thin, full taper, hollow ground, and it is extremely flexible. Now, with it being so thin and flexible, you don't have a whole lot of meat. You know, if you can see, I can flex like really flex that on my nail. I mean, I can flex it all the way down. Now it does stiffen up, but you can see the flex, but up here, have a lot of flex. So someone that uh, wanted to use this and they weren't careful, it wouldn't be hard for them to blow this out. Now this was a 6364 HRC um, ABL. But Again, I wanted to try out the, the blade shape. I like the blade shape. I think that would be a, a you know, good little you know, fishing knife, um, bird knife. But the big cutout, it just um, doesn't work for this blade. Now, about the big cutout, you hear the nice walk and talk. Someone who had um, weaker hand strength or someone that say had an injury to their hand that just had you know, didn't allow them to use something like a nail nick or just a regular pinch in a knife without getting enough um, grip on it. That has got a lot of potential. You can grab it and you've got to, you know, get a really good purchase. So I think with the right blade shape, you know, and a smaller cutout, that design could actually work. So that's a plus. I'm like, okay, I can see this working on a, you know, the, the right knife for the right person. If someone wanted this on a knife, it, it's very viable for, again, this blade with no more meat than you have, you know, and it's such a thin, flexible knife. No, it just, again, not um, practical whatsoever. See how, how that tapers off. Um, now, the lightweight, um, blinderless knife with the phosphorus bronze washers, it's rock solid, 
It's got like really good action, really good walk and talk. I see that as you know something um, I'm more than willing to uh, play with again. If I want to do a lightweight knife, this knife is 1.4 ounces as it is. You know, something that we, you know, I, I've got into kayak fishing and if I want a real lightweight slip joint, um, that would fit good into a um, uh, vest pocket. So I'll make a knife, I'll try out these designs. And again, you know, this is just impressions because I've not used this knife yet, but just, you know, after making and using knives, I can sit there and you know have a pretty good idea of what's going to work and not what's not what's not going to work. It wouldn't take much for someone to again grab that, give it a torque, twist it, and break that piece there. I mean the knife itself, you know, it's a cutter, but it's just weak. But it's a neat little knife, it feels good in my hand. Now, as far as trying designs, um, and this is something that I'm fixing to, uh, actually I played with a little bit. This is a five inch Norton um, um, stone. It was made for a sharpening system. But if you can see, I have beveled it. Now right now that's at a 40 degree bevel. And what this is, I want to uh, start cutting my nail nicks for some knives differently. I want a longer, thinner nail nick. This nail nick's cut with a uh, 55 millimeter dovetail cutter, and it gives me a nice nail nick, but I want a longer, thinner nail nick. I decided that the 40 millimeter, I mean a 40 degree bevel is not what I want. This was just a, a, a practice, and you can see it's it cut a nice nail nick, but it's just thicker than I want. So I've got to play with this, you know, cut several nail, you know, adjust the angle, cut several nail nicks, adjust the angle until I kind of get what I want. But I'll get an idea in my head what I want to do, and then I'll start trying to get it to work. So, you know, this cutting uh, nail nicks with a stone, that's nothing new, other people do it. It's just, I have to figure out what's gonna work for me. And you actually can cut hardened um, steel with this. So if I wanted to, heat treat a blade, grind it, and then cut the nail nick afterwards. I'd get the nail nick exactly where I wanted it, the exact depth I wanted it um, prior to doing, I mean, after grinding the knife, because that nail nick's a lot bigger, and then I grind it, and the nail nick, you know, gets smaller because it's a full height grind. That's just how it's gonna work out. So again, I'll get an idea, I'll make it, I'll go yes, no, or what can I do to change it? In this case, I like the blade, I like the handle, I don't like the big hole, it don't fit for this, but for another knife down the road, um, I, or for the right person, something like that's got, uh, got potential. So, just a quick thought on how I do some things. You see there's some uh, ABL here. Um, this is for an upcoming um, a custom um, slicing knife for sous chef. He um, won't say slicing knife. Uh, he works in a, uh, um, I think it's, it's, a, like a, I think it's like a meat bar. Um, but anyway, he slices meat all day long. And he wants a custom um, knife for him to use slicing meat. I don't have a, the pattern, the design but I'm going to make it. I know what I want. I know what he wants. So it'll be a design and steel. I'll do the design. I'll show the customer. He'll look at it and I'll tweak it as I go along. And actually I'll start this out with a Sharpie. I'll take a Sharpie and I'll sketch out the design and then we'll go from there. Again, design and steel. But uh, I hope you're all doing well. I hope that uh, you're staying cool. It's been wickedly hot lately. Um, be safe and take care.